When it comes to French food, what do you think of? Perhaps it's the escargot or coco vin, or maybe Julia Child and her distinctive voice pop into your head. If you're anything like me, it's crepe that you think of. It's a classic French favorite that many have come to love. We're being joined by Sandrine Pilaz, who is a master crepe maker. She's here today to share her secrets for making traditional French crepe and give us a little insight into the traditions of French family cuisine. Bonjour. Bonjour, Ashley. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. I love crepe. Um, I do too. I first really discovered my love in France when I was there. And so you, um, how long ago from, did you move here from France? We moved from France 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. But you brought but the French traditions. Yes, yes. We okay. do crepes at least once a week. I, I it is one of the, it's one of the most versatile foods. You can do anything with it. It is. Yeah. Okay, so let's start by just kind of walking through. We'll have the recipe online, but the basic sure. ingredients that go into a crepe. Very basic ingredients. Um, flour, regular flour, milk, uh, eggs, butter, salt. Um, and my secret ingredient that I really like is beer to make the batter, um, I don't know, it's, it's slightly... Um, Gives it that little kind of... It um, makes the crepes lighter and a nice flavor, very subtle, but yeah. it's definitely good. You have to try it with that. And you also do a buckwheat version. Yeah, the buckwheat version, so it's nice for people who are gluten-free, mm -hmm. and they are definitely great for savory crepes. For the savory. Um, yes. Because yes. a crepe isn't like... We say sometimes it's a French pancake, but we eat pancakes primarily for breakfast, and the crepe is any time of day. No, it's any time of the day. You can make a whole meal out of a crepe and it's really really nice and you can go the sky is the limit the for sky toppings. is the limit okay yes. let's get to making them because i think sure. that's the tricky part and you've got two different kind of versions of how you can make it yeah and in my experience the first one never turns out yeah we'll okay see. okay let's, let's get try. started so yes. show us this version so this one is the one we use at home it's nice because you can um it's an electric one so you can keep it at the dinner table and not be on the stove trying to make all the crepes and being away from the family so we put it in the middle of the table and, um, yeah, just, just grease it and make the crepe. Made to order. Yes. Okay, show us how it's done. Yes. So first we need to grease the okay. pan. And you always, in my experience in French cuisine, it's butter almost always. You don't oh. use a lot of... We could, you could use oil actually in the batter too, but I prefer butter. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. So let's grease a little bit. Oops. The more, like, the more butter... The, the better. better. <laughs> do you um, find yourself re-greasing the pan as you go? I do. Okay. I like to do it ac actually for each new crepe, each new but crepe. you don't have to. Okay. Thank do you. you. Want to do I will do that. Too? Yes. Okay. okay. And then show us about how much of the batter will you use per... So it depends on the size. You can see this one is smaller, but so you can, you have to... Um, kind of see how much you need. Yes. Okay. For, for this one, I use like half, half a cup, so okay. about, about this. And the secret to a really good crepe is a really thin crepe. So yes. this is how you're going to spread it out. This one, I use this, yeah, this kind of spreader to make it very, very thin, thin and even because I cannot really turn and roll the, the griddle, but you will be able to do it with yours. Okay. There you go. And now we're going to wait and for And then the... you just kind of wait and... Yes. Do and you, you don't flip a crepe, really, do you? Um, with a regular pan, it's you fun to, you, to try oh, to jump that. the crepe. You don't have to, okay. but it's a fun, it's a fun tradition. Um, In order to get this now, I'm going to want to bring it up off the heat and kind of move it yes, around, right? Moving around okay. with your, Let's with see your if wrist. this works. Hopefully it's not too hot. Okay. Oh, I like the sound. And kind Look of at you. Perfect. A thin, nice, thin crepe, yes, right? Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put that back down. It's yes. not quite as paper thin as yours. I think I put mm. a little too much batter on, but I think it it's still going to be good. Yes. There is no um, baking powder or yeast in the batter, so it will stay flat. It'll stay nice and flat. Yes. So now, how do you know when it really, when it's done? You, you see, like, the edges start getting, like, brown, but... Okay. Um, some people like it like 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 very slightly cooked, and other people like it a little bit crisper. Yeah, so it's definitely. While these are cooking, let's talk a little bit about the way you fill a crepe because it's a savory crepe or a sweet mm -hmm. crepe. It's a dessert crepe. It's really any meal uh -huh. you want. Yes, usually we start with savory ones. Our favorite uh, is um, we add actually some um, ham. Swiss cheese is my favorite, but any cheese will do. Yes. And I like to um, saute some mushrooms with garlic and um, 
it depends, like you can add parsley or kale. Yeah. And you saute that and you put it in the crepe. Do you when make you them right it, on the... Yes, mm -hmm. it's nice because the, the cheese will melt. Just melt and be gooey yes. in there. That's yes. perfect. Think, let's see. Sure, we're going to see. And then with the... My favorite for... You can go ahead and yeah, mm -hmm. flip that. My I favorite is, is not. Um, Nutella always, right? Mm -hmm. That is the best thing that I've, I've gotten from French culture is Nutella. But yes. You've told me another really popular um, dessert kind of sweet crepe in France is really about the lemon. The lemon, and it's very simple, just a little bit of butter, of course butter. Of course. Uh, with sugar and a little squeeze of lemon juice on it. Okay. Do you think my, I think I like mine kind of um, soft. Soft, so yeah. I can probably go. And you can definitely use your fingers. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. I got a, that's a good one. Okay. So and I'm, I'm just going to make, make um, savory ones here. Okay, we've got about a minute left to get these made and in our mouths, or else I'll be <laughs> finishing them on the break, but I cannot wait to try this. And what about, like, when you've come here now, I think you've brought a lot of French tradition to with you in, in, the, in the way that you eat family meals and the way that, like, the yes. French come around the table and have long meals that you enjoy together with family yes. and friends, right? So they are definitely not that long anymore, uh, but we, we make a point to have dinner all together every night. Um, and usually it's a, it's a very simple meal that we, that I will make. And so again, very easy, simple, but making sure we have a good meal together. And then in, um, when you're using them mostly for a dinner and then the leftovers, they'll become the breakfast. breakfast. Or even for the lunch boxes for the girls. For the, the lunch day. boxes. Okay. Yeah. Fair day crepe. Oh, you know what? The first one did turn out. Oh my gosh. I'm actually surprised. Is there a secret to folding it? No, so you can fold it in like quarter. half and a quarter or you can roll it. Um, well, either way, this one is beautiful. I'm going to let this cool and I'm going to eat it over the break. Yes. And enjoy that one too. Thank you so much. Merci my beaucoup. Pleasure. Yes. We'll be right <laughs> back after this.